Hi, I just wanted to share something interesting that I discovered when researching um, incoming comets and the comet, um, can't pronounce its name, it's Comet 67P. It's uh, named after two people that found it originally. They've been trying to track this comet since about a year ago, September 19, 2014. Um, because it's made its, it's going to make its perihelion around the sun today. I don't know if they're going by Eastern World Time, which would be yesterday or today. However, it's going. You know, its closest approach to the sun is August 13th, 2015. So they, this article was from a couple days ago, and what to expect? There was a Rosetta mission to this um, comet they were trying they were trying to land a camera that would sink in to lock on to this the main body of this comet okay with this mission and they did get a lot of pictures however they the unit failed to lock on um, so it was able to take some pictures before uh, I think it's still it says what well, here let's see um, the lander was supposed to become the first spacecraft to touch down softly on a comet a comet sorry but instead it bounced three times before crashing in the shadow of a crater rim which left its solar panels starving for energy. Filet is still alive, but Rosetta hasn't been able to establish stable communication with it. Might all those jets of water vapor and dust clear whatever obstruction might be blocking the lander's antenna? Taylor says that although the comet surface is likely to change, it's hard to tell whether those changes will happen near the region where Filet is hiding. We will still continue to listen out for the lander, he says. So they couldn't, they couldn't keep established you know communication as far as visual with this comet but as I said today it's passing the closest approach to the Sun so I typed that in on live data live com oh, live comet data dot com I'll leave links to this but I just thought it was interesting because I was trying to research comets and asteroids that will be coming or approaching close either by lunar distance or solar distance AU from the Earth in September. And this one is interesting because here's a picture of its orbit. Okay, and if you click on, here's the Earth. Okay, here's the Earth. And here's the comet. Its closest approach to the Sun is August 13, 2015 as depicted right here on this live data map okay so it's already come past the side of us right here and now today it's right here and it's expected to go you know we'll just go a few steps close sorry so let's see if we go to August 23rd in 10 days you can see everything starts to move the comets going the earth is moving at the same rate about as the comets passing around the Sun October 2nd October 12th and it just continues out past Mars and then the Earth is where it is where the comet was December 1st okay so you can see that as it's moving the Earth is moving and it's really this equal distance apart so go back to August here. Oops, sorry, someone keeps trying to call me. Um, what's interesting is I found if you look at the real time information for this comet, the sun distance in miles, and here's AUs, and here's kilometers, in miles, if you watch, the distance from the Sun is increasing so it's getting further away from the Sun 
this measurement will go up. See how it's increasing in kilometers? And eventually it'll, the miles will change. See? But the Earth distance is decreasing. So why is that? It's like one mile per second. It's counting down from the 164,000, uh, 164 million miles. So it's counting down as, so is that as it's, it's already passing the sun, it's perihelion is today, and it's going to be, the distance will be increasing between it and the sun. This was its closest approach, 1.2 AU. Okay, but now it's decreasing to the earth at a constant one, sec one mile per second, which is very odd because we just saw in this diagram that the earth is behind it, and as the comet moves, which it's moving at, you know, the earth is steadily just behind it. So why, <laughs> my question is, why is the miles between the comet and the earth decreasing? It's a dilemma. And is this the one that's supposed to come close to the Earth? Maybe their projection map here is not accurate. Um, so I did the calculations. This is pretty much one mile per second. And I did the math. And if it stays at that constant rate, it would be coming, hitting the Earth October 5th, 2015. Now, of course, we know if it gets drawn into the atmosphere or as it moves further away from the sun and closer to the earth, it could, this rate could increase, which would make it possible to be like a week earlier in the end of September. So I would just encourage you to keep a link. I'm going to put this link in my text box for this live com comet data inf page for this Comet 67P, and just keep watching this. I might keep looking at this and see if this keeps going down. Um, if you go to this page, Fall of a Thousand Suns, it has some information about Comet 67P. And basically, it just sort of ends. It doesn't. It just talks about the mission they had, and then. Um, doesn't really say, it just gives you statistics and data about it. And the other comets that are coming close, the Soho comets for making their perihelion around the sun in 2015, here's the 67P, and then the one other ones we have, if you go to Soho comets, there is um, a list waiting for my computer. Okay, hold on, I'll find it. Uh, let me pause. It was at, actually at the bottom of that page. So these are all the ones they expect in 2015, starting with January. So if we go down here to August, it won't list the 67P, but um, we can see August 13th. There's the P2010 K2 and the 15th P2009 L2. In September, we have P1999 R1, September 4th. And September 26, which is in that same time frame as the last two weeks of September, we have P1999 J6. So though that's the date when they will make their um, closest approach to the sun, orbiting around the sun. All right. And then, as you probably are aware, if you type in uh, JPL near Earth objects and you go to their website, you can click close approaches and this will give you asteroids and by lunar distance LD, which we, one lunar distance is 384,000 kilometers, which I don't know what that is in miles. You'd, I think it's 86,000 miles, but I'm not. And then, or 186,000 miles. 
and then one AU, 150 million kilometers or 93 million miles, one, one solar distance, okay? So if you click down, if you go scroll down, you'll see here's, here's September. Here we are in August, August 13th. Um, here's the lunar distance and the solar distance. So um, the smaller the number, like, you know, 20 instead of 65, and then the closer it is to us, and then here's the size of the, dia the diameter of the asteroid or meteor. Okay, and then it'll give you a condition code. So let's just go down to, in September here, there's there's one that's going to be only 8.7 lunar distances or 0 0.02 AUs away from the Earth. Asteroid 2014 KS76. It's 13 to 30 meters wide. And if you click on the object, it'll take you to <clears throat> an orbit diagram. You need to have Java updated to run that. But I think mine's not updated, so I'm going to put cancel. But if you scroll down, it'll give you other information about that object. And it'll say condition code 3. Well, condition code is just how likely it is to have, let me move the little map over, it says condition code MPCU parameter orbit certainty estimate 0 to 9 with 0 being good that's not going to cause any problems and 9 being highly uncertain. So the closer it is to 9 they're not certain of its exact orbit and the possibility of having anything happen with it. Um, so there's a couple, and so there's a, there's always like, you know, look, this is September, all the way from here to here. So that's quite a few asteroids that are gonna be orbiting around us, different, different diameters and different distances. All right, there's a large one on September 24th. 120 to 270 meters at only 5% of the solar distance. So it's, you know, between if the sun is 93 million miles away, then do the math. You um, times that by 0 0.05. It's going to be this asteroid would be lost my place. Ay, ay, ay. This one would be um, 4,650,000 miles away. But the sun's 93 million miles, so it's quite a bit closer. And like I said, the trajectory of the asteroids can be affected by any other spatial bodies, planets, or comets going by, or getting hit, struck by another object. So this one on September 24th, that's fairly large, has a condition code 6. So again, I just found this to be very odd, um, the real time for this comet, how it's a countdown to Earth distance. <laughs> and it keeps steadily going down. So something to watch. I thought it was interesting and I wanted to share it with everybody. God bless.